Milkshakers. I'm Kemi, and this month on Milkshake, we are celebrating Black History Month, but I can't do this all alone. Oh, no. I will need help from someone who knows everything there is to know about Black History. And as luck would have it, we happen to have a Black History expert right here in the Milkshake studio. This is Raya, and Raya knows all there is to know about black history and she celebrates it all year round on her YouTube channel called Kids Black History. Hello, Raya. Hi, Kemi. Raya, I know that you know everything there is to know about black history, but what will we be learning about today? Today we're going to learn about melanin. Oh, melanin. That's a very exciting word. Milkshakers, let's find out about melanin. So, Raya, what is melanin? Melanin is something that is inside our bodies and is a thing that gives us our hairs, eyes and skin colour. Wow! How does it work? Well, melanin is called a pigment. A pigment? What is that? A special house for a pig, maybe? No, a pigment is something that gives something else its colour. Oh, so... Does the colour of our skin depend on how much melanin it contains? Yeah. Ah, I get it now. Across the world, there are billions of people and every one of them has a different amount of melanin in their skin, which is why there are so many different skin colours and skin tones. Yes, there are hundreds of different skin tones and skin colours and they're all beautiful. Yes, they are. So, people with darker skins have got more melanin in their bodies, right? Yes, and people with lighter skin have less. But melanin doesn't only give us skin colour, it also gives us superpowers. Did you say superpowers? Yes. So, can it help us to fly? Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. No, Kemi. Oh. But it helps protect our skin from dangerous sun rays. So it's like our own built-in sunscreen? In a way, yes, but it does need some extra help. So it's good to wear sunscreen and a hat when you're in the sun, no matter how dark your skin is. That's really good advice, Raya. I put sunscreen on my skin. Me too. But, Raya, what I still don't understand is, why do people have different amounts of melanin in their bodies in the first place? And I'm glad you asked that, Kemi. Some people have darker skin, which means their ancestors, which means their great, 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 great grandparents lived in very hot countries near the world's equator right here. Raya, that was a whole lot of greats. <laughs> so, I can see the line of the equator right around that globe there, but what does that line have to do with melanin? Well, there's a Thousands of generations, people who lived here produced much more melanin in their skin to protect them from harmful sun rays. So basically, the stronger the sun rays, the more the body produces melanin, resulting in a darker skin tone. That's it. So is that why people get suntans? Because when the sun comes out, it forces their body to produce melanin and they get suntan. Yes, when you go in the sun, it makes your skin produce more melanin to help protect itself. Wow, so melanin really does have superpowers. But hold on a minute. Does that mean that if you have lighter skin, it means that your ancestors lived further away from that equator line, so further away from the sun? Yes. People whose ancestors lived here have lighter skin because their bodies didn't produce as much melanin. Oh, I get it. But the most important thing about this is that the only difference between people with lighter or darker skin is the amount of melanin they have. Ah, so what you're saying is, beneath this skin, we're all the same, really. 
That's a fantastic message to end on, Raya. Yes, we're all the same underneath, so love the skin you're in. I love that, Raya. Love the skin you're in. So, Raya, not only are you a black history expert, but someone's also a bit of a science expert as well. <laughs> milkshakers, I do hope that you've enjoyed learning with us today. Shall we say goodbye to the milkshakers? Yeah. Bye-bye, milkshakers. milkshakers. And don't forget to... Love the skin, skin you're